And as the music continues on and on for eternity, our life goes on and on without any pause or break, letting us live throughout the moments and enjoying our lives with the background music, enhancing everything that we do. I don't know what I'm speaking. I'm just perfect. blabbering. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Keep blabbering because that is very important. Start something. Okay. I want you to quickly catch on to it, latch on to it, whatever. and continue with the flow without disrupting the harmony and the meaning of the sentence okay. in the process if you find so different it's so difficult and especially <laughs> maths i i am quite good at maths i'm not boasting about myself but i am quite good at maths <laughs> but for the ninth sir i'm genuinely finding maths difficult no oh, arunditi it's been a while yeah it's been a while is it more than a year now or maybe couple of months or i don't remember i think you had good discussion in between yeah yeah uh, yeah it has been a couple of months and i decided to like have a session with you after a long while and i booked a session for this afternoon i think 2:40 pm and i wasn't able to join i don't know why I me too you. me too me too i i immediately call, call them up and say please inform yes. arundhati because yeah. she must be mad now <laughs> yeah. so how is everything madam Uh, is going on good and i don't know what happened i texted the technical team and i told them that i was facing some issues and they said that they'll add the session again in my backlog session so i decided why not like log out of the session and do some technical things and just have the session again to try out what's happening and ask you what's happening so yeah here i am booked another session today <laughs> marvelous i think i if i have to jog my memory then Uh, we met when you were in ninth standard, or is it? I I am in ninth standard now. I think mm-hmm. we met when I was in eighth standard. You were in eighth, right? So maybe yeah. I confused with another girl who used to take. Okay. Oh. So and how how are things with you? How how is it going? Because uh, good to see that you are still with Clappingo. <laughs> yeah, things have been going on great. I am. Um, learning day by day new things and since my vacations are going on right now i'm trying out new things uh like painting singing and playing the keyboard and all these things uh-huh so uh, and how about your studies the most boring question though <laughs> yeah <laughs> my studies okay so i when this uh, when my vacation started i was like really uh, determined to study the whole vacation and you know cover up the whole syllabus of the whole year in just like one month or so i was just so determined to do so Is but it? <laughs> yeah but when the vacation started i became very lazy <laughs> Yeah. And I did not it, do any it, it happens. It happens. It happens. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the vacations now. Mhm. You're still in Delhi? Uh no. I was in Delhi during my school when my school was going on, but now I'm at my grandmother's place. Uh which is where? It's a district in Chhattisgarh called Thamtari. Tham, sorry. Thamtari, Thamtari. Thamtari. And so how far that would be from Delhi? It takes around like one and a half hours to reach here. Okay, and uh, what are the best modes you drive? <laughs> no, I don't drive. My father drives. Okay, okay. So you are uh, so once you reach to Dhamtari, then you are completely cut off from the city. Uh, yeah, I am completely sort of. cut off from. Yeah, you could say sort of because we are. I'm in the same state, but the uh-huh. city has changed. So what what are the differences that you you have been going to these places? You must have lost lost the count also maybe. So uh, what's the difference that you find apart from the peace, serenity, everything that you can talk about? Is there any difference that you see with the hustle bustle of the city and what you see in the village? Is it a village no. town? Should I, I mean no offences meant? Can no, I say? No, it's, it's like a city. It's like town city. It's not town exactly city. a village town. Okay. Okay. So, so Dhamtari is the actual city, and just like it's a small, uh, like a small town, a small part of Dhamtari. It's still Dhamtari, but it's like another section of Dhamtari called Rudri. So, I'm living in Rudri in mm. Dhamtari. 
So like here, the thing is that if you want to get something, like maybe you want to go to a stationery shop or like a mall or somewhere, you you will not get those things in Rudri. You'll have to go back to Dhamtari for that. But in Bilai, the thing was that you can just like go out of your house. It's like after a few streets, you'll find a nice market. You'll find a nice shop. You can get everything. But in Rudri, if you have to like make, you have to make up your mind. You have to like mentally prepare yourself that oh, I have to travel so much to just buy this simple thing. So like that's the thing. I don't like going out. That's a problem. But in Bhilai, I, I could just like walk to a shop and just get the things that I want. But in, in Dhamtari, it's not like that. Wonderful. And um, you enjoy it, which means, right? You do enjoy there. Yeah. The main thing that I enjoy about Dhamtari is that my grandmother is here and she cooks me delicious meals. I love that. <laughs> but back in July, I don't really get that many delicious like grandma cooked meals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how was the transition from eighth standard to ninth? Oh my God, it was so stressful. You know, in eighth standard, everything was just so easy. The syllabus was very similar to what was there in seventh standard. But in ninth standard, it's just so different. It's so difficult. And especially <laughs> maths. I, I am quite good at maths. I'm not boasting about myself, but I am quite good at maths. <laughs> but, but in ninth standard, I'm genuinely finding maths difficult. Uh -huh. So uh, you are already... You have already started strategizing to ways to get around it? Yeah, I have started st making a strategy about what I'll do. And I have even decided that before getting back to school, before the school session starts, I'll like just go through like, one or two chapters before the school starts so that I um, I know the things that are going to be taught. taught. And But I'm too lazy to do so. The thing is that I can study science and social science very easily. I, I love doing that. But maths, you need to like make up your mind to just study maths. You, you need to like get a rough set of paper, like solve the exercises and understand everything with your mind open. It's just, I don't like maths now. I used to love maths, especially algebra. But now I'm not liking maths at all. Is it that uh, warning bell that this is the time when people slip into that zone where they start losing interest? Yeah, I just think when so, uh, so be <laughs> be little so yeah. a, a word of caution for you. Hmm? Yeah, yeah I, I I had planned to do something, but you know after meeting you after a long time, so the conversation drifted completely to a different. Yeah. So uh, what I will do is that because you're pretty good uh, at your speaking abilities with your speaking abilities. So I'll start something. Okay. I want you to quickly catch on to it, latch on to it, whatever, <laughs> and continue with the flow without disrupting the harmony and the meaning of the sentence. Okay. In the process, if you find some words which are, which appear alien words to you, Stop me there, please stop, stop. <laughs> but yeah, because I, because I when I speak, I don't realize that sometimes I may use. But I'm sure you'll do well. So shall shall we? Yeah, sure, we can go for it. So uh, it would be like uh, life is a symphony of moments, um, each one weaving together to create the tapestry of existence. Tapestry means. Tapestry means uh, when a uh, couple of threads, they are woven together to create a beautiful, say a wall hanging or a wall painting, something. So that is called tapestry. Okay. Is, was, this, was this a new word for you? Yeah, actually it was a new word. Okay. So, so you will work on it, I'm sure. So uh, uh, it goes like this, that life is a symphony of moments I lost. Okay. Each one weaving together to create the tapestry of existence. Just like the melody has power to evoke emotions and set the mood. Mm. The idea of life coming with background music invites us to explore the profound impact that music can have on our daily experiences. 
oh my god i have done it <laughs> so, wow. so, so so you say so you continue from here you continue from here okay hmm. oh my god it was just so magical to listen to all of that i couldn't think at all i i, I can I, i will it help if i tell you one more time is it no 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 i got it i got it what is that and as the music continues on and on for eternity our life goes on and on without any pause or break letting us live throughout the moments and enjoying our lives with a background music enhancing everything that we do i don't know what i'm speaking i'm just blabbering but perfect. <laughs> perfect perfect keep blabbering because that is very important yeah i think that's it. that's what came to my mind what are your uh, i mean arunthati what are your initial thoughts on the idea that life should come with background music what are your initial thoughts on that? um okay so when i first like heard that sentence the first thing that came into my mind is are those indian soap operas where where, where everything is just so dramatic and mm-hmm. when so- someone says something like a dramatic sentence like a punchline and everything just goes like dhum tana na 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 dhum tana na 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 i think that's the first thing that came to my mind <laughs> you feel music has the ability to shape our emotions and experiences yes yes very much because music just sets the mood and uh, music has a lot of power to uh, change the meaning of a sentence uh, like let's take a very simple sentence like um, i'll meet you tomorrow this is a sentence and if it's like a happy happy nice peaceful song then it's, it's like a normal statement but if it's like a very intense then like a song with uh, like minor chords or something then it's like Oh my god it's such a meaningful sentence oh my god like it changes everything the meaning the intonation and everything of a sentence okay and has it how much has it impacted your life as a student and as you as you as you grew up music must have been all along with you right yes yeah i love to listen to music and i have a huge playlist of classical music pieces i oh. love that this this uh, uh, this was a surprise classical music oh yeah, oh, yeah. Like, you know mozart beethoven and all of that okay 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 oh, you, did you think the indian classical yes because i was completely uh, i mean shell shocked your generation oh. listening to indian classical music although i should not generalize things <laughs> my bad yeah. is Even there i'm a... learning i'm learning how to sing indian classical music Wow! So someday, maybe in one more session, you will. Maybe. maybe. Lovely. Is there a particular song or a particular genre which has uplifted or elevated your mood, or which something that you really look forward to whenever you get upset? You just tune into that music. Is there something like that? Hmm. So I really love music with, uh, you know, like happy beats. it's not like too rock or too metal and like not too sad as well it's just like a happy nice song just right in the middle of the spectrum that's what i like usually okay and uh, how do you think uh, background music could uh, impact or influence the social interactions and communication hmm. so background music I mean it's not that usual where where we get to listen to background music while we're having a conversation with someone but background music is like uh, if you play a nice calming background music let's say that you're having a, an intense like meeting with someone and you you need a job or something you need to get uh, a deal from a client and if like nice peaceful soothing background music is going on during that meeting then you the chances of you getting the job might increase because it sets the nice peaceful calming mood for the interviewer or the client yes i think um, uh, to me if you ask me it serves as a catalyst for social interaction because oh. sometimes when you are let's take for an example you are in a social gathering and then there is a soothing uh, kenny g music is being played in the background mm. so you know uh, and you you stand up and you take a notice of them yeah and your conversation although you could it has happened with you could be interacting with the person mm. 
but somewhere you are aligned to that music i mean because <laughs> yeah you have liked something so what ha- i have seen personally because i since i do a lot of interactions that it definitely uh, takes me into that course or direction where yeah. i mm. anything that you want to ask me madam ji I don't have anything to ask but you mentioned an artist Kenny G I would love I'd say that my mom absolutely loves his uh, songs he she loves what whatever he has done till now and whenever we are like uh, traveling in a car let's say that it's a long journey let's say that I'm just traveling from Bhilai to Dhamtari she just plays this music and it's so calming to listen to that while traveling in a car and I even drift to sleep while listening to that song if you had to advise to the youngsters because we get those run of the mill kinds advices most of the time read listen and all these kind of things watch movies how how would you be different in advising because you have a youtube channel i suppose around the thing right are you are you are you are you on with that uh, yeah yep tell now i am yeah okay so is it that uh, you took you took a pause in answering that is it that you are not able to spend much time these days <laughs> yeah i mean not these days but earlier i took a little break because oh, of my took, studies but now i'm back on it yeah yeah wonderful so what was what was the latest content that came up on your channel don't say go and see for yourself tell me <laughs> I could have said that that was yeah, that could have been a great uh, promotion for yes, yes. I will I will don't worry I was just curious <laughs> I was just yeah. curious to know that what is that you have posted lately It was just a clapping or conversation it was just oh. yeah it was just that Are they working well I mean when you posted Yeah I Yeah mean, it's going out good You wait for the comments to come in and then <laughs> is it yeah. like that mm. and how much you have been able to make a difference to the people who have perhaps have been watching you for some time since the time that you started the youtube channel do you think you have been been able to inspire them touch their lives i think so because people comment a lot that um that i'm inspiring them and i'm like their inspiration they want to learn english to, uh, because they have been watching me but i personally sometimes think that they're a little bit exaggerating i mean a child couldn't have just like motivated a person to, to just learn a new language all of a sudden mm, is it that uh, sometimes you find it quite challenging to connect even uh, and uh, there could be mixed comments uh, so, yeah. so it it could be okay but mm. i think the essence is that whether you could reach with the objective that you had planned for hello yes sarunditi i am here i said uh, could you could, could you finalize cement on you uh, the network has started to become unfriendly between us so before before yeah. Yeah. So, so i think it could get disconnected any moment so i would like to say thank you so much for giving me this opportunity one more time yeah. so it's, it's always a pleasure to talk to you yes same here thank you madam thank you god bless take care of yourself bye bye okay bye bye